<laughs> I mean, all right, we got monochrome versus King DDD versus one of the non-sexy Samuses. All right, now I think this matchup personally favors uh, the Samus. Yeah. Because Samus <laughs> is top tier and DDD sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but no, also, we, uh... We can always go for the inexperience of never playing DDD. That's true, that's true. So you might not know what to do, but... Yeah, that's the nice thing about playing a low tier. People don't really know how to deal with them right off the bat. So you can throw a lot of little crazy moves in. Even you can you can do things that are unconventional to get them thinking that's how that character plays. Yeah. And then you switch up to the regular playstyle, and they're like, how do I deal with this now? Um, but anyway, this Samus is doing an absolutely fantastic job keeping the space away from this DDD, closing the gap. And whenever the DDD tries to get close... The, the punish is real. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. He definitely Ooh, knows that. But that was good. And there it is. We're going to need a good recovery here. But I don't see... Ooh, the Gordo. Smart. Yep. There we go. He's back in it. As soon as he gets that stage presence, he's back in it. But uh, once he's in the air, Zero Suit has a pretty big advantage. DDD hasn't, doesn't have very many good approaches for below himself. No. Oh, that was a good aerial back air. All right. Oh! Oh, no oh. way! Oh! <laughs> That is my favorite way to see a stock get taken. Somebody, somebody, uh, this is why, this is why we play Smash in Windsor. It's, uh, number one producer of salt. Oh, yes. In, uh, in Ontario. <laughs> I feel like we should have the prop. <laughs> right? Just see a big box of Windsor salt. Just right in the background. Yeah. Just grab it whenever. Or get, like, a stack of them and stack them as, like, a backdrop. That would be hilarious. That is definitely something they want to talk about <laughs> sponsorship deals. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, when's your stop? Um, do you want to sponsor a video game tournament? What are you talking about? Oh, that was... Oh, that would have been deadly. Oh, the Gordo... So that Gordo hit was actually really interesting. Because when uh, it gets hit back, it counts as the other person's Gordo. Yeah. But then when it gets hit back again, it counts as his Gordo again. So that was like a baseball match. That was like some Ocarina of Time Final Battle stuff. Ooh, and the, the flying jump kick didn't get the Gordo hit. Oh, there we go, with yeah. the down smash. The Gordo That's wall a, is definitely something new I've been seeing from Dave. Yeah. This, is a, this is a recent addition to his repertoire. Really? Yeah. The Gordo wall, I think, is DDD's strongest asset. Because he has... He's so vulnerable. He's so big. He, he got, he's, got, he's got big uh, attack boxes. Yes. But his hitbox is so large that it's just so easy to get, easy to get combos off on him, easy to protect yourself against him. And it's, he's pretty slow, right? Yeah. So it's easy to spot dodge and punish it. But with that Gordo wall, it makes... It gives him the idea of where exactly the enemy is going to be. Because the enemy has to avoid that Gordo. No no question about it. Avoid it or hit it. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, for sure. The uh, So yeah, like I was saying, the Gordo makes the enemy have to kind of pick their, pick their spot. And if the DDD learns how to read how the enemy chooses their spot against the Gordo, that gives them pretty much a really accurate depiction of where they're going to go next and how yeah. to, how to kind of approach their next attack. See, I'm just not too sure how to use the Gordo myself. I can, I can like, angle it to be... Ooh, the F smash. That was a really good read. Oh, that one was a little a little slow to the dump, but... The Samus is catching on. Samus is yes. catching on to those, uh... To those jumps. Jumps, what am I saying? Jump smashes. Ooh, we're here! Oh, no, too far. And the delay after it. The Samus could have punished that, but, uh... It's, it's, hard to, it's hard to get those off. You never want to risk punishing like a big, a big strong hit like that because even if you just mess up the littlest bit, that's your stock. No, oh, yeah. Sometimes it's better to just keep it safe. Samus's now. Let's talk about Samus's neutral laser. That is the most annoying move to me. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I play, I play online a fair amount against it, and like, it's just, its range is deceptive. It always hits me, and then it's like, okay, cool. Now I'm stunned, and now I can get whatever move they want off on me. It's uh, so annoying. I just, I like to use it situationally because if you don't, then it just turns into a spam move and people yeah, read it really, exactly. really well. Same, th there's a lot of moves that are super powerful that you have to kind of save as a last resort. Um, personally, with Roy, the counter. Oh, yeah. If you get too counter happy, people will know how to read it. Ooh, I don't, I'm not sure exactly. Ooh, oh, the Gordo hit from below. <laughs> that was, oh, oh, he didn't even need that Gordo <laughs> hit. That was, that was just uh, styling. Oh, yeah, that was just... Um, but yeah, yeah, moves like moves like the laser and counters. If you keep them as a secret weapon, they can really help you out in a pinch when the other character's momentum is building. Because half the battle in uh, in any in any game like this, a battle of wits, is kind of keeping a calm head. Yeah. And if you have like the momentum, if you're getting a big combo off, it's messing with the other guy. Not only getting their percentage down, but like internally. 
So if you can do anything to stop that, that's like right now it's happening. It's happening to little bro over here. Oh yeah. As soon as he gets his momentum back, though, the tide of battle can change. And 71%, if you're DDD, it's, I mean, he's a heavy character, so it's not too bad. I'd say... This Zero Suit's doing such a good job spacing, though. Non-competitively, 76% 76 for uh, Diablo is a non-issue, but... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! I was really hoping you'd get that. Ooh! It's coming, it's coming. There's the laser. Ooh! I thought he got that grab. Zero Suit with the amazing spacing right now. Using the aerial, uh... Oh, okay. Using the aerial, um, grab the grappling hook. Doing a really good job with that, too. Kind of stops all approaches. He's got to get... That, yeah, that he's got to get some good Gordo move off, I think. I think that's, uh... Ooh, that was smart. Going through the stage there. All it takes is one good hit. Ooh, the neutral airs. That's going to be important. See, I was waiting for a grab, because that seemed like that would... Dave normally gets a swing once he gets that grab. Yeah. Uh, that, I think the Gordo was a uh, was a little bad choice there. I think we need to see uh, we need to see more neutral airs from DDD. I'm hope. Ooh, that's it. And that up, it that up B, it's deadly. Uh, Diablo won the first match, right? This is game three. This should be yes. All right, cool, cool. Will, I'm gonna have to talk to you guys about the setup you got here because this is awesome. How much do you like? How much does this kind of thing run you? Like this kind of, uh, like that control board and everything. Yeah. I have a decent headset and microphone, but like, if I get something like this, <laughs> that'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I have that set up at home, but my microphone quality is not so great. I want to get one of those blue Yetis. I hear those are good. That's the issue with my mic. It picks up way too much background noise. I'll talk to you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later about what you what you recommend. Yeah, cool, thanks. All right, where are we at? Ooh, he was switched up to Mario. I like that. I like that switch. Surprise! Like, surprise! He didn't go doctor. Well, he's. Oh yeah, he does like his doctor Mario. But um, no, this is gonna be really useful because that's a oh the the Mario combo, <laughs> the skillful combo that only the best of players can pull off, where you press up and A. <laughs> I hate Mario so much. <laughs> um, but no. Uh, the the cape I think is going to be detrimental here because that laser was doing a lot of work. Yeah. And having having that cape to deal with a zero suit Samus is going to be trouble. Oh, that up smash was beautiful. Dave has a good Mario. I think he should have uh, played a little bit more. He has a. He just doesn't like playing top tier characters. It's one of those. One of those. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. I I, I completely understand that. I'm kind of the same way in some things. Roy, I, I don't know how, what Roy is seated as because he hasn't been in a big tournament yet. But I picked him before. I picked him like just because I like him, you know. Well, so if, if he gets seated good, I'm not gonna feel bad about it. <laughs> Watching him on the local scene, I got a feeling he may not be top, but he will Same. be. Same. He'll be high. He'll be high. Yeah. That was good. That was good patient play by uh, Diablo there too. Just dealing with that laser approach, just holding his ground. See, another good character choice in a matchup like this, I think, would be any character who. Um, who can crouch past those lasers too? Yes. Yeah. Dealing with Zero Suit, dealing with Sheik, any either of those two characters is always really hard. They're both so good at comboing. It, it, it's the speed. Yeah. Ooh, there's that nice grab. That was a little bit risky though. Ooh, the oh that was really cool. The fireball punish so the the laser didn't go off. All right. The Zero Suit with his beautiful offstage approach. All right, Mario got his footing back. He's got to get ready. He sees that. He saw that first laser, so now he's ready for it. Ooh. Okay. How do you think this match is gonna go? The Mario's building up some, I mean, some momentum. It it depends on who will gain the momentum within I think the next couple of hits. That right now, it's ooh, there's there's a there's a like, nice little hit that does a lot of damage too. It's a it's such a good move. It brings you ooh the flood. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Oh here we go. Zero suit building a lot of momentum. Mario just needs one really solid hit, or maybe like a couple more, a little bit more percent than another really solid hit. But ooh, is that kill percent? No, nope. no, nope. nope, not yet. I saw the blast field. But uh, 
Oh, the grab. That was risky. That punish could have been a little stronger, but still good. This, this is a one good hit or one good combo from Zero Suit. Maybe. Yeah, one good combo from Zero Suit, one up smash from Mario. And that up smash is so quick on Mario. Ooh. But see, now he's going to be looking for it, and Zero Suit knows that. So Mario's got to play creative. Oh, I thought it was coming there. I feel like Diablo needs to bring the cape back. That may be the way to swing Yeah, he needs, he needs to change up his playstyle a little bit to throw the Zero Suit off. Because Zero Suit's got the momentum right now, I feel. And that, that laser grab. Oh, so troublesome to deal with. Oh! Baited. He got baited. One might say it was Master Bait. Oh! <laughs> I don't know. Should we be bringing puns like that onto this? <laughs> oh, and there it is. From a dash attack. It. It happens though. That's no, how it has to go. Alright, I think my next match is uh, gotta go on, so I'm gonna hop off, pass it to some of these yes. guys.